Today's Tips Du Jour mailbag question comes to us from California. Robert, in your last Tips Du Jour mailbag video, you talked about how to remove the polishing compound residue before going to the next grit on the buffing wheel. However, what about after you are all done polishing? Do you use the charcoal lighter fluid method to remove residue from the final polishing with the buffing wheel? Steve in California. Steve, that's an excellent question and perhaps I neglected to uh, address this in my last uh, Tips to Your Mailbag video. It's very simple. Let's go over to the bench and I'll show you. So Steve, here's my guitar. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a bit of fine residue left from the last polishing compound from the buffing wheel. Here's how I clean that off and take it to the next step when it comes to shine. So the way I get the residue off of here, I'm going to be using a product I got from LMI. It's a clear plastic cleaner. And what I do is just put a little bit on a rag and then I come in and just rub it on the surface here. I like to try and go with the grain because my guitars are so shiny that sometimes just the cloth itself will put some scratches back into it. So going with the grain helps hide those if you happen to get any in there. So doing this will help clean off that residue and get you a very nice mirror finish. You're going to have to wear sunglasses when you're playing this thing because it's so shiny. So this is what I use to clean off the residue. However, they have another product that's a clear plastic polish and this works great for doing spot repairs. You notice you have a few scratches there that you couldn't quite get out on the buffing wheel. Come in and hit those with the clear plastic polish and it does wonders for keeping this thing nice and shiny. So that's how I do it. And Steve, another area where this product really shines, no pun intended, is on peg heads. Peg heads are very dangerous on the buffing wheels. Sometimes you run the risk of going through or burning an edge or something on the buffing wheel because they like to catch those sharp edges. And so if you come in and just polish it up by hand with these products I just mentioned, it may just keep you from having an accident. Happened to a friend of mine once. So Steve, thank you very much for your question. Using these products in my shop has helped me get that nice showroom shine on my guitars. And I think you'll find that if you use these products, you'll get the same results in your shop.